Hello, welcome to my channel, Simply Mama Cooks. I'm Angelica. So I woke up to a cold morning and I wanna keep the house nice and cozy today, so I'm gonna bake some bread. I'm gonna show you how I make focaccia bread. Now I developed this recipe off of several recipe resources, so I will definitely link those in the description below. I'm making a small portion for my family today and they're gonna love it. Here's how I make it. Okay, so let's start this dough. Here I have 250 grams of all-purpose flour. Here I have three quarters of a teaspoon of fast uh, dry active yeast going in. Here I have, um, this is three quarters of a teaspoon of sugar. I'm gonna go with half a teaspoon of salt. I'm gonna give that a mix a little bit here. You kind of want to bury the yeast a little bit on its own. Now I'm going to go in with warm water. This is around five ounces. It's a little over a half cup that much, and I'll add more if I need to. And I'm using this rice paddle. <laughs> you can use a wooden spoon, but this is going to be sticky. I'm going to need more warm water. I'm going to get more warm water and just add a little bit more. You want this dough to be on the stickier side. And just mix in the water. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. And you notice when I use this rice paddle, it doesn't really stick too bad to it. That's kind of why it comes in handy. Okay, so sticky dough, perfect. I'm gonna get this bowl. Oops, move that out of the way. So I'm gonna take a tablespoon and a half of olive oil, and I'm gonna add my dough right into this bowl. Okay. So what I like to do with my focaccia, and the recipe that I use for focaccia has kind of transformed from other recipes or tips and tricks that I've learned along the way. So I will link some of the videos or links that kind of help me develop what I'm doing today, like recipe resources. So one thing that I like to do now that I saw on a video is to create an olive oil, water, sea salt emulsion. So I'm going to go with two tablespoons, it's gonna be equal parts olive oil to warm water. Here I have uh, two tablespoons of warm water. To that, I'm going to add like a half teaspoon of salt and two tablespoons of good olive oil, or you know, what you can get your hands on. Do the best you can, guys. Now I'm just gonna cover with my lid and you know, give it a shake. Okay, there it is. Now it's kind of like emulsified. And before I use it, I'll give it a shake. Okay, so it has been around six hours. Like I said, if you make this the night before, you wanna cold proof it or let it slow proof in your refrigerator overnight. That's actually, I like to do that as well. But I'm going to gently kind of lift this away from the sides of the bowl and I'm going to put it into my baking pan to proof once again. So, you know, you see it, it's going to deflate, but it's just ooey gooey, wonderful, tacky dough. And that's what you want. So, 
gonna come over here. This is a small um, baking sheet. I'll put the size <laughs> in the description below. It's not a nine by 13, it's smaller than that. Um, let me see here. So I'm gonna add like a tablespoon of olive oil to the bottom of my pan, spread it around. So now I'm just going to gently kind of pour my dough onto my baking sheet. I'll tell you what, let's put that there. So I'm just gonna carefully kind of stretch it. It is going to proof and rise again. Okay, so I'm gonna dip my hands in a little bit of olive oil and I'm just going to stretch it. And this is the stage where I like to dimple the bread. Kind of do that. <laughs> oh, honestly, texturally, I love working with this dough. Okay. So that's gonna be as good as I can get it for now. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to use my olive oil water, my salt water emulsion. And I'm only going to use one tablespoon of it. Um, yeah, that's about a tablespoon. If I doubled this recipe, I would use all of it. So just gonna do that on top. It has like a, you know, olive oil, water, salty goodness. And now I take some flaky salt here. And at this point you can um, add your rosemary or fold in, you know, some of the stuff that you would like. Okay, so now I'm going to just let this rest for another hour and a half to two hours, and then it'll be ready to bake. I'm gonna let this proof again. Okay, so I have my oven preheating behind me at 475 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm going to bake my bread somewhere between 15 to 20 minutes. Um, my oven might be calibrated differently than yours, so the cook time varies. Uh, you just want to cook the bread through. <laughs> so um, my dough has already proofed for the second time, and it smells amazing. Let me show you what it looks like. Okay, so I did cover it with another baking sheet. Uh, I failed to mention that earlier, but check this out. It definitely has doubled and puffed up and proofed it smells so wonderful so this is going to go into my oven now so let's go ahead and get that um, and you don't have to touch it or do anything to it carefully I don't want to deflate it we're gonna put it into the oven let's see here there we go perfect Okay, so I'm gonna make roasted tomato soup to go with this focaccia bread. And I have a little over two pounds of just a variety of tomatoes. I have the Campari tomatoes and the, the flavorful like sweet bomb tomatoes. I'm just gonna remove them from the stems. I have one small shallot that I halved and two cloves of garlic that I kept the skin on. I'm gonna uh, mix it with olive oil, salt it, and roast it in the oven. Just drizzle it. So I'll use a spoon. Just Sprinkle in some salt, give it a mix, and this is also going to, oops, this is also going to go into my oven. I didn't even bother cutting the Campari tomatoes in half because it's all going to go into a blender and then simmer on the stovetop. So into my oven as well. The focaccia bread, let's see what it looks like here. Oh, it's done. Careful. Oh yeah, I got that. Oh my gosh. This looks and smells amazing. Okay, so <laughs> I'm going to take some of my fresh chopped parsley. And you can top this with Parmesan cheese, some red pepper flakes. Sometimes I do that. I'm just going to go in with a little bit of fresh parsley.
Okay, so. So if you can see, look how deliciously soft and chewy the texture is with the crispy exterior. It's my favorite part. So good. Okay, so the tomatoes are done. Careful. It looks so good. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to carefully take the skin off of the shallot, and I'm gonna take the skin off the garlic, and we're gonna put it into my blender cup. Okay, so to the tomatoes, I'm gonna to add just a little bit of crushed red pepper flakes, some dried basil, maybe a quarter teaspoon, a quarter teaspoon of dried thyme, and a quarter teaspoon of smoked paprika. Season your tomato soup how you like. So I'm just going to cover this with the lid and puree. I'm gonna let this simmer just for like 10 minutes. I'm gonna taste for salt and seasoning. Sometimes I like to add chicken bouillon powder into the mix. It really depends, you know, on what you prefer. But I'm just gonna let the simmer taste it for salt and seasoning and it's ready to serve. So good. And I'll just cut some. Okay, so this is what dinner shaped up to be. I'm going to go in with a little bit of Parmesan cheese on top, some parsley, and this delicious, crispy, crusty, soft, chewy focaccia bread, just like that. And that's going to be dinner. I hope you give this recipe a try. I hope you like it, and thanks for watching.